Welcome to a day in the life of a second year medical student on ob rotation. This is my first day, first rotation, first everything of second year, so it's really exciting. I have night shifts, so I woke up around 4.45, and our ob rotations are four weeks long, so this week I'm doing nights on like the labor and delivery floor. Next week will be gyne surgery, and the fourth week will be OB clinic. And the reason that doesn't add up is because the first week I missed because of COVID and that would have been also labor and delivery floor, but day shift. So first night shift ever, have no idea what to expect or like how hard it's gonna be to stay awake, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all be fine. This is Oakley who was already sad because she can tell I'm about to leave soon. <laughs> These are the scrubs I'm wearing, Dolan. I really like them a lot. And I have a couple other brands that I'm ready to try or wanna try. And then the shoes that I'm wearing are Clove. These are so cute. I'm obsessed with purple color lately. And some Comrade compression socks, which I've heard are super helpful when you're like on your feet a bunch. Also, I'm not actually wearing these scrubs because we're gonna change into the hospital scrubs, but they're so comfy, I'm just driving in them. <laughs> and here's Oakley being needy, begging me not to go. Oh, stretching in front of the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm also wondering if these socks are going to look really stupid. I don't know, but I don't have enough time to change. So this is how we're headed to the hospital. So this is my outfit and eventually I will actually get to wear my own scrubs, which is nice because I made sure to get the ones that have a ton of pockets and the hospital ones totally don't. So hair, this is the last thing I'm kind of running behind at this point, but it's fine. I love this stuff because it makes my hair not a crazy frizzy mess. And going to quickly eat some leftover shrimp enchiladas that I made for dinner yesterday because I knew I didn't want to, you know, wake up early enough to make dinner when I'm trying to sleep as much as possible before this night shift. Here's Oakley being needy again while I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> Okay, this is what I'm bringing to the hospital. This is actually a gift that the med school gave us just to like, you know, write on while we're interviewing patients. H&P, again, this helps organize what we're writing down when we're talking with patients and then case files in case there's like downtime and I need something to read and study. I don't have my OB gun shelf till March or after spring, but still, I need something for downtime. <laughs> and of course, uh, some caffeine. So Celsius, Zevia for when it's like, you know, later and I don't want caffeine, but I want something to wake me up. And I'll pop up a picture of what's in here, but a ton of fruit and like yummy snacks for throughout the night. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you the cutest bad reel ever. I'm wearing this obviously, cause I'm gonna be on labor and delivery. And I have like a uterus one and uh, one that I'll wear like when we're in internal med, but I think these are so cute. <laughs> All right, giving a bone for Oakley that she probably won't even eat while I'm gone, but whatever, <laughs> and headed off to the hospital. Alright guys, it is 5.15. I'm headed to my first ever, ever clinical rotation, ob guy night shift um, on labor and delivery. So I'm like so nervous and I have no idea what to expect, but also like really excited and really happy I finally get to get started after missing my first week because of COVID. I only know like a classmate started last week. She's on the same rotation as me. So I've heard a little bit of what she's done. She's like seen births, delivered placentas done c-sections and stuff so it's gonna be a really fun night i'm so nervous i'm like getting really nervous now that it's actually happening like so much like i've been we had two weeks of orientation i missed my first week now i'm finally doing the thing and it's just like making me really nervous it's also really freaking hot <laughs> i'm gonna plug this hospital into my map so we're gonna go <laughs> hopefully i'll be able to keep you updated throughout the shift i will be working from 6 p.m to 8 a.m because there's um lectures morning lectures 7 to 8 a.m that we have to go to so it's time to get started <laughs> uh, begin with making the incision the incision for c-section goes two finger press above the pubic symphysis um, generally and extend out holy moly i'm freaking out i'm freaking out
I'm freaking out. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's fine. We're not freaking out. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm very nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. I just parked. I'm gonna go inside. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be great. <laughs> All right, now that I'm here, I'm gonna walk upstairs, get changed into scrubs, and first thing of the shift is at 6.15 um, sign out. So the day shift residents are just going to go through the patients and what's going on with them for the night shift residents that are about to take over, and you can tell I'm still really excited. Here's the scrubs that I change into, and I will be in for the night. It is 8.30 p.m. I have already seen one delivery and a couple patients, and I'm having a great time, and the delivery was awesome. I got to help the mom hold up her legs and I'm having a great time. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I'm just grabbing a jacket because the last room that I went into was really, really cold. Um, but I'm just kind of like walking around with one of the residents and seeing patients as soon as you see some. And I got to like hold an ultrasound and see a baby's face and the bladder and the hips. And yeah, it's a great time. Okay, more fun stuff to go. All right, it's 2.48 a.m., time for a snack because there's some downtime right now, and I'll fill you in on what I've been able to do since the last update. So, I learned how to do a mag check. I'm kind of following around two residents. So, one of the residents has a patient with preeclampsia, and magnesium is what you use to treat it, but you have to check them every two hours to make sure they don't get magnesium toxicity. So, we walked up, and she's like, all right, you can watch me do this one, and then you can do the next one. So that was really fun. And then I also got to go and talk to pa two patients in triage by myself. And after that, I kind of like attempted an oral presentation, but the resident gave me some feedback. And then shortly after that, we would go in together and talk with the patient. So that was really fun. Everything's so hands-on. So obviously still having such a last, um, I'm just like blown away by how nice everybody is and like how much fun I'm having and how much you actually get to do as a medical student who basically knows nothing. <laughs> I also have a classmate here so it's been really nice to have a familiar face and yeah it's just good vibes all around. I'm having like an amazing time like more than I would have ever imagined thinking about how this rotation would go and yeah you can tell I'm having a great time by my cheesy smile eating my boiled eggs. <laughs> just watched a boil get drained before this clip and this clip is me walking out of the or holy moly guys i'm literally on cloud nine at this point so this is the end of my shift um just kind of packing my bag and getting ready to go to morning lecture but let me tell you the last hour of my shift was being in a c-section i got to scrub in and everything it was such a full circle moment like felt like i was in the middle of Grey's anatomy or like you know in Grey's anatomy you always watch them scrub in like i freaking did that it was crazy so anyway the resident and attending were so nice they were like talking about things and pointing to things and asking me what it was and i knew most of them which was cool just like fallopian tube and ovaries you know nothing crazy but it was so amazing to scrub into that c-section i'm finally walking home and i honestly can't even believe that i just had a 14-hour shift because it definitely does not feel like it everybody was so nice and i'm just really grateful that i had such a great time and who knows maybe ob is my calling after all guys it is 8 22 we just had morning lectures which was really rough that was the roughest part of the whole night shift was staying awake for the morning lectures from 7 to 8 a.m and then i went to the cafeteria and got some free food with my classmate oh that was the most wonderful experience ever and i'm so happy two deliveries like within the first hour was the vaginal delivery and then the last hour was the c-section where i got to cut um i got to, like every time she tied a knot I like cut the stitches the stitch for her the string I don't know I got to cut the umbilical cord twice and it was just amazing it was absolutely amazing we got a 24 minute drive home I'm going to call my mom and update her because she's waiting for my call to see how the first day went and probably my grandma too and then go home and hope that I can just like sleep as much as possible because I'm coming back tonight <laughs> 
awesome, awesome day. I'm so, so, like, I'm, like, overjoyed. I'm so happy. That was wonderful and amazing. <laughs> it's time to go home, eat, and sleep. <laughs> Alright guys, it is 10 a.m. now. I sat on the couch and just filled in George with how my day went and now I'm restocking my fruit and boiled eggs for tonight. Look how official, like that looks amazing. It's like a chuck cuttery board in a bento box. <laughs> I need to remember my stethoscope tonight. It was really embarrassing that I had to Annie, my classmate, was just absolutely wonderful and so helpful. I literally like walked in tonight, last night, and she's like, here's who these people are. She showed me how to look at the, like the board to know like what the colors mean, who's in, like what triage means and what color for like if they just postpartum C-section, postpartum vaginal. And she um, let me borrow her stethoscope when I didn't bring mine. She had that bingo sheet that I showed you. Did I show you that? Um, she had extra printed um, because it's one of our assignments and so she gave that to me. So guys, Go to a collaborative medical school. My classmates are awesome. Annie was, um, like, I was so happy that I had her. I don't think I showed you guys this. Um, we have multiple assignments, like, with each rotation, immersion, so we call them. So one of our assignments for OB-GYN is this bingo. And there's certain things that are required. So if it's required, then a resident has to sign off for it. For example, um, interpret a fetal heart tracing. I did that with a resident and um, magnesium check and note. That's not required, but that's one of the things on here. Um, so yeah, I only have this because Annie had extra. Um, so anyway, I need, I'm going to put my stethoscope and like my other, like I have a bag of only physical exam things that we just have. So I'm just going to put that in my bag tonight or now before I go to sleep. I think I'll shower and I have to upload these clips for this vlog. <laughs> um, I want to try and do that. Like maybe I'll try to sleep from like 11 to, if I get everything ready, I could try to sleep from 11 to five, which would be, oh God, that's only six hours. Seriously. Okay. But I'm also done at midnight. So do I need eight hours? Cause 6 PM to midnight is going to go by so fast. 11 to 5 is only six hours okay i'm gonna stop talking and like try and get all those things i just listed done really fast and just go to sleep as soon as possible maybe i can make it to bed by like 10 30 <laughs> and wake up at 4 30 yeah we're only getting six hours but it's fine we're done at midnight because we have didactics tomorrow that's what i'm doing right now All right, mine are fail. I'm just not like down at 11.40, but it's okay. I only have to make it till midnight tonight. Then I get to come home and sleep some more before didactics. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I definitely enjoyed filming it, living it. Today was super awesome. Next week is gynoc surgery. Um, so that's exciting too. And no more nights for the foreseeable future. So I can do, I can survive one week of anything like we'll make it through and then a lot of days just from here on out for a while at least as far as i know but if you want to hop on over and watch last week's video if you haven't already and you want to know more about like our second year curriculum what our rotations look like like how it's set up because doing clinical rotations as a second year like isn't normal the lic thing like how my schedule is going to change drastically in march and just be totally different um be sure to watch last week's video it's i sit down and, and explain everything about our second year curriculum so you can be more in the know and be sure to like subscribe follow along on in instagram and i cannot wait to see you in the next one bye